What if I told you Pixar uses a simple formula that is so effective that it has become one of their favorite templates for exploring a new story? It's actually one of my favorite ways to write. It is truly the most reductive and simple version of a story as you can get. Hello, my fellow storytellers. I'm screenwriter Pietro Schito, and welcome back to Write for Animation. Subscribe for more tips on how to become a professional animation screenwriter. Today, you'll learn one of Pixar's secrets when crafting the plot of their movies, the story spine. This technique is taught in the Story Experiential course, where professional Pixar artists teach you how to craft your story. We have a special promo for our Write for Animation community, so stick around until the end to learn more about that. Story Spine is a super reductive economic tool that we use at Pixar all the time, um, from improv games to beating out an actual movie, you know, in the early stages, where we figure out what the most important events in a film are uh, as simply as possible so that we can add all of the fun details and complexities on top later. And it goes something like this. Once upon a time, there was, you know, character X, Y, and Z who every day did ABC until one day something changes. And because of that change, there is a response. And because of that response, something else happens. And then because of that, something else happens. And you can do steps four through six as many times as you need to until finally there is some kind of resolution. And then ever since that incident, you know, you have the end of your story. And once you put all of these ingredients together, you can kind of look at the sequence of events and determine a type of moral of the story. You know, what is all of this trying to say ultimately? This is a really great way for us to figure out the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story or acts one, two, and three of a story. Great, we know the theory. Now let's put it in action. Once upon a time, there was a worker ant, and every day he worked on finding new methods for collecting food for his colony. But one day, an invention broke and the colony was left with no food. Because of that, the grasshoppers bullied the ants for extra food. Because of that, the worker ant left the colony to find insects who could fight the grasshoppers and save the colony. Because of that, the ant found a gang of circus bugs and took them to the colony. Because of that, the colony decided to prepare an attack against the grasshoppers. Until finally, the grasshoppers were defeated by the colony of ants. And ever since then, the ants lived happily. And the moral of the story is, when you stick together, anything is possible. You'll notice I used because of that more than three times. You can do the because of that as long as you need to. And something that's actually really fun is to have the because of that go from being positive to negative. You know, because he was kicked out of his home, now he was homeless. That's bad. But because he was homeless, now he could travel the world. That's good. But because he could travel the world, his feet got tired. That's bad. Oh, because his feet got tired, he sat down to rest by the creek. That's good. And like, you can just improvise your way through that series of negatives and positives. And if you will pay attention to some of your favorite movies or TV shows after this lesson, you'll find that a lot of scenes work that way as a scene will go from ending badly to then ending well, but there's always some kind of response. There's always another because of that. Isn't that awesome? And it's great because it's so simple. Sometimes I overcomplicate things in my writing, but when I come across a technique that's so simple and actionable, I want to share with everybody. The cool thing about stripping out the complex elements from your story is you can always put them back in. So what you can do is just start from the beginning and say, okay, here's my main character. Every day they do this until one day this thing happens. And once you finish your story, then you can go back in and do it again. You can either refine, make it more simple, or you can start to make it more complex. And if you get stuck there, that might be a good signal to do. take a step back and look at you know where you're planning on going or where you've been in your story. Because often the clues are in the writing that you've already done. Now let's play a game together. Take your favorite animated movie and create a story spine for it. Post it in the comments and let's see if we can all guess the movie. You just got a little taste of Story Experiential with Pixar, a nine-week course where you learn how to develop your story the Pixar way. Join now using our promo code write for animation with the number 4 at storyexperiential.com. I took the course myself and it's fantastic. Keep learning from the great talent at Pixar by watching this special playlist I put together just for you. I am Pietro and this is Write for Animation. Now, go write something great.